I said, I'm on Pluto. He's just like, man, it's Pluto. Like, the shit I say in my conversation, I'm always thinking, like, some crazy, far out of his shit. And they're like, Pluto, like, man, it's like, man, future hands is. Ain't gonna always agree. I seen the devil in my sleeve. I think he's jealous what I did to the game. Don't let him take me on the streets. That's all my sins. I'm possessed on this ball. I got my sad bitch ball. I always wonder if she lost Oh, we on the same accord Let me flex on my room So what is up YouTube fam? Sway Kicks is here And today I'm giving y'all this future self-titled album review Now it's gonna be my thoughts And if you haven't, check out my Big Show I decided to review video I'm gonna leave that the link after this video and i'm gonna put it up here somewhere should it be showing up whatever but we're gonna get into this we're gonna kind of dissect it and i'm gonna give y'all my favorite songs off the album i'm not gonna go into depth because if you haven't heard it already futures album is fire everybody everybody right now stand up everybody i mean everybody stand up right now everybody right now market america shop.com Matter of fact, make some noise if you're feeling the energy. If you're feeling the vibrations. And it's not just him, you know, making club records and saying, you know, a lot of off the wall, dumb shit, you know, for wordplay references, but he's really going in. This is like some savage type from the heart. Like, I've been through this type shit. We know Future just basically dropped this album out of nowhere and if you were part of the Future Hive, you've been knowing for a while in the back of your head. Like, Future's been, he's been very low key as of lately. You know, he had his song with Drake, used to. But uh, he's been very low key. And so you just like, what, what, wait a minute, what, what, what is Future doing? So out of nowhere, he had dropped the video Popping Tags, which is on the album. He dropped that video and then he dropped like some little um, short videos on his uh, YouTube. Then the album, he just came out, tweeted, you know what I'm saying, and put on Instagram that he was dropping the album February 17th. And I was just like, damn, man. And nobody knew what it was called, no song, no track list, anything. But he dropped some fire, man. So I'm, I'm not even going to dissect the whole album because basically it's fucking fire, like I keep saying. But I'm going to just go through and run down and give y'all my favorite tracks. But before we get into that, make sure you guys hit that like button real quick for your boy. Hit that subscribe button if you're a new viewer. Or leave a comment down below if you want to share your thoughts on the album or whatnot. So make sure you do that real quick and follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, at Monscore Trice, and any other uh, social media that I have down below in the description. Follow So yeah, got that out the way. Let's go ahead and get into it. I recently seen an interview with Future and Zane Rowe. Uh, Zane Low, Zane Low. I don't know. I'm forgetting the guy's name, but I seen an interview with him, with Future, and he was basically talking about, you know, he wanted to perfect his craft, and he didn't want to, you know, talk about that ratchetness or whatnot. Even though it's still a little bit of ratchetness on this album, he just wanted to, you know, show that show people. Who Future Hendrix was because if he would have put it out earlier, he people would have probably been thinking like, oh, Future gonna be playing the guitar on this album, like you know, expecting 
stuff literally because he calls himself Future Hendrix, which is not. It's just a different persona that he has and a, a, a nickname that he goes by because he said he, you know, he gets in that zone. He kind of feels like Jimi Hendrix, but it's a different spin. It's his take on, you know, his own little Jimi Hendrix impersonation but with the little, you know, with his style into it. Going through this album process, he was just like, you know, he wanted to put some of the personal, his more personal things out on this album, what he's been going through, then with the fame and the blogs say about him, basically. And he just wanted to put all that in the album and still give something that had substance. And I know he said he had some new producers on there. It wasn't just Metro or Southside or the 808 Mafia on the beats. It was, you know, more, it was, I, I forgot the guy's name he mentioned. He just wanted to take like a different spin and, you know, still uh, be pushed to do better and provide better content for his fans and feed us as an audience and whole. 17 tracks, so I'm just go through and pick, you know, my top favorite songs off the album. The album is fire, by the way. I give this a, this gotta be Future's best project to date. So I'm gonna give this, I give it a nine out of 10, just because Future still, I thought he would, you know, fell off a little bit, but he did. And he still bring that heat and still, you know, talking that same shit, man. Just being a savage, just being a savage. That's what I like about Future, man. So yes, uh, nine out of 10 and you know, some of these tracks you don't even have to skip, but it's just ones that stand out. As soon as you hear it, they just stand out. And you just got, you just, hey, 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 hey. To kick off my favorite tracks off of this uh, future subtitle album is Rent Money. Rent Money is is dope. I, I seen somewhere on, uh, I think it was Twitter, where they said <laughs> Future was referencing to uh, Scotty Pippen's wife. I don't know how true that is, and I'm just leave that alone. Rip money, that shit is fire as fuck, man. Uh, fire. Second, good dope. Good dope was good. The first playing the album through the first half, it was dope. And good dope as soon as he he comes in. Tip, tip. Oh shit! I was like, God damn, I'm already. Zoom is tight, it's tight, it's tight, I like it. Uh, Draco, a lot of people been saying they love Draco and stuff. At first it was a little slow, but after a while listening to it over and over again, I was like, okay, Draco is dope and it's Draco season. So, you know, you know, you gotta get on that Draco wave, man. You gotta, everything you do, you gotta spray with the Draco, you know, you gotta, you gotta be on your shit, man. You gotta uh, stay with the Draco, Draco season, bitch. It's the Draco Soldier effect. Uh, moving on, Super Trapper. He actually just dropped a video for Super Trapper. And I like this record. Just basically talking about uh, what he's been through and everything. And just basically him from the ground up to now. He's been trapping ever since, so he's a Super Trapper. Ugh. POA, man, that's got to be... Shit, shit. POA is... That gotta be that club record though. Like even though he didn't put out too many club hits, um, that's gotta be that one though. When he, as soon as it dropped, he's just like, damn that that beat, man. Do 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 do. Oh man, that that shit is hard. Mask off. Also, that, that's produced by Metro Boomin. That shit is fire as well, man. <laughs> I basically just named tracks one through seven, man. Favorites. Damn, that's why you have a 9 out of 10 future. You know what you're doing. 8 through, I'd say 8 through 11 was straight. They was kind of like straightforward, you know, about him being in the trap or whatnot. Those were High Demand, Out of Time, Straight, and I'm So Groovy. They were dope, but it wasn't nothing that kind of like stood out for me. They was tracks I can listen to, and I know they would grow over time for me, but it was nothing that, you know, that just off that first listen that I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, might as well. That's gotta be like one of those real personal songs right there. Like, man, that shit just had me wanting to cry and codeine tears, man. Just crying codeine tears, bro. Dang. Papa Taz, that shit is tote. That, that shit is also like a, another club banger off this uh, album. Like, that's, when I seen the video, I was just like, damn, man, my 
DJ released this and then like it's on this album, so I'm just like, oh, it clicks. He just doing his own thing in his own lane and stuff. So popping tags is great. I be popping tags, I be popping tags. And then Future said some rhyme when he said, um, damn, I had I sent it in a group message. What did what did Future say? Damn, I gotta find it. Hold on, hold on, you guys. Hold on, hold on. Let me find this. So I got the line, you guys. Future said, "Catch me going goon, banging on the wound." Oh, that shit. Oh, that shit. That shit hard, bro. That shit hard. Oh, that shit hard. <laughs> Sensational. So after the uh, might as well popping tags tracks twelve and thirteen. Then it's massage, flip. Those are all right. Massage in my room and flip. They're all right. You know, they didn't really stick with me, but they they good. They good tracks. Finally, 16, 17, when I was broke and feds to the sweep. When I was broke, shit, future just, that was like, that was like some true future injured shit. That shit should have, if that, that could have been on Purple Rain, honestly. That's like some, ooh, shit. I can relate in a way. And Feds did a sweep in a group chat. My homie KD, he kept saying, <laughs> put your whole hood on chitlins. That man KD right there, boy. That man KD. <laughs> anyway, Feds did a sweep. That was, that's a dope track. That's like a, I hate to say this, but that's kind of like um, when Meek Mill first came out and he had the Tony Montana. It's kind of like that. But I don't want to wanna bring Meek Mill into this because I know you guys going to say some shit. So I'm going to say that's kind of like um, Ice Cube with t uh, Today Was a Good Day telling a story with Future's Feds did a sweep, you know, storytelling and shit like this. So it's kind of like that. That's the album, you guys. I picked the tracks that I like and the ones that I didn't really go over, like um, How the Man, Out of Time, Scrape, I'm So Groovy, Massage in My Room, and Flip. Those were the tracks that didn't really stick with me, but all the other tracks that I mentioned and went over, those were the ones that were hot to me, pretty much 1 through 12. Um, Oh, one one through seven, then 12 through 13, then 16 through 17. Those, that's pretty solid, man, for an album. If I like those many tracks, that's, that's dope as fuck. Nine out of 10, Future doing his thing, Savage Time, Draco Season, that's the review. If you got anything you want to add to it, leave it down in the comment section. You got another uh, album or something you want me to review, make sure you leave it down in the comment section. Like I said, can leave a thumbs up for your boy. It helps out. Subscribe to my channel. Um, share this video. Follow me on all my social media down below in the description. Without further ado, Sway Kicks, I am out. Peace.